Billions over budget and years behind schedule. The Muskrat Falls inquiry has heard from the people who called the shots. But for the first time last night, the public had a voice on the mega project that comes with mega concern. Here is NTV's Leila Baudouin. Um, I think it poses a grave threat to the people who are living downstream. From uh, environmental costs, like the like impacts of methyl mercury, which can poison food chains and is linked to abnormal pregnancies, to disappointment and failed promises to Aboriginal communities. We have failed to have respectful relationships with Indigenous people in this province. Nothing was off the table in the first of two public forums. Or who dropped the ball? We let this happen, says retired professor Stephen Woolenitz, who called out Newfoundlanders and Labradorians for not pushing back enough. All of us, by not insisting that our politicians not call each other names, but actually debate on the floor of the House of Assembly, and we let them get away with it. This man says that's the problem. And I knew then there's something bloody well wrong with the things in Newfoundland. Saying the hydroelectricity project is one more case of bad choices and horrible outcomes for this province. We are our own worst enemies. Uh, going back to the very beginning of this project, the Green Party of Canada opposed it. Green Party years. leader Elizabeth and May says dead. Muskrat was doomed from the start. This project creates a sea of red ink for the people of Newfoundland and Labrador, and it's now buttressed by $10 billion in federal loan guarantees. It makes no sense. There's another public hearing in August. That one's in Happy Valley, Goose Bay. But in the room last night, there was little faith that anything could fix what's wrong with Muskrat Falls. Leila Baudouin, NTV News.